Do you think you need a ton of art supplies for urban sketching? Let me show you my handbag sketchbook where I share my memories with just a regular sketchbook and minimal supplies. In today's video, we are going on a tour through my small A6 sketchbook and I'll show you how you can make art with minimal supplies. This little A6 sketchbook goes with me everywhere. I have it in my handbag along with some art supplies to draw inside and it's a canson sketchbook. It's a graduate, so meaning it's meant for art students. It's 140 GSM. 86 LB and it's A6 size. So it's pretty small and I like that because you can have it very handy with you without being too heavy. On this page I had only a regular drawing pen and a colored pen and I wanted to do everything the same way in this sketchbook with a sketch on color and then the details with the black lines. But um, first page was okay. And for the second page, I did the same with blue lines and then black lines, but I felt it was really boring. So when I was back home, I added watercolor, but the blue lines melted in the watercolor, so all in all, <clears throat> not a success. I was having a coffee at a, a cafe and I was just drawing people in front of me. So I had this, this color and I wanted to draw different shapes and add details on top. I was still in my phase where I draw with color and then I refine with black lines. And here, this is a view I had from my hotel in Paris. So I just use this for the sky. It's not the good color for the sky, but this is what I had with me. And then I was drinking a coffee and this is actual coffee, by the way, just to add a bit of jazz to it. Same with just a pen and an outline of color. This is really fun to do. And I was lazy to fill everything because when I did that here, I didn't like the lines. So I skipped it here. Never mind. It's not meant to make beautiful art. It's meant to be a memory. And I wanted to create with what I have with me because I don't always want to carry everything with me, my watercolor palette and so on. So just a pen and a highlighter and you're good to go. Same here. And this one is not finished, obviously, and will never be finished. It's a Bordel museum. Bordel is a French sculpture and this is what's in the garden. I was drawing with just a pen. I had to be quick. People were waiting behind me, so no color means no time to use the color. And then it went crazy. There is a guy here, another one here, another one here, but yeah. <laughs> and this one, I drew it in the train. Oh, my friends, they were sleeping and they had scarves. And I thought it was really boring. So when I was home, I used a bit of highlighter and write a bit of color, change everything and a little bit of watercolor. So this is done after when I'm back at home. And I like the, the way that you have to compose because if you remove that, it was a bit empty here. This is my foot, by the way. And then Adding a title, it balances the page. So you don't need to think a lot about the composition, just go. This is uh, Delacroix Museum in Paris. It's its actual home with his studio. And the view was pretty cute. And this time I had my watercolor palette with me. And this is the 
natural museum with skeletons, <laughs> brains. And I'm just drawing the things as I see them. I don't think a lot about composition. I, I remember this is the first one I drew. And it was very long, so if I had placed it this way, it would have kind of occupied a lot of space in the sketchbook. So I placed it this way. This is a scale from an alligator. And then I had this element. So I placed it a bit on the border, on the middle of the page, because I could have placed it on the right, but I wanted to integrate the two parts of the paper. Otherwise, I can have a separation. But as this is the same page, I wanted to go on the next page. And then a bit of writing, some title. And here, you see, I haven't drawn on the border, so it's a bit different. And I drew on location and added a bit of green at home. And this is a part of the leaflet you get at the museum. But it was a good color, so this is why I use this green. Skulls, only skulls, I don't know. What about this day? I had a, something about skulls. <gasps> Big skull. Triceratops, Horridus, Multicolorus. So this is my writing, okay? It's not a natural breed of dinosaur. But I want you to have a lot of colors because in real life, this is very brownish and I added colors at home after. Ah, this day I was waiting somewhere and there was a car just in front of me and I must say I suck at drawing cars. So this is what I wrote here. Looks like a crushed Twingo. Twingo is um, a French car. And also it's it's not a it's not a Twingo. Awful. So I tried to do like I did at the beginning of the sketchbook with my colored lines, but it was time to go, so I never finished and I forgot to take a photo, so that's the way it is. But I remember everything about that day. Then, this is a view um, when I go to some place and I had time ahead with me and I drew that on location, took a photo and added the color at home. So this is also a good way for me not to carry everything with me is to take photos and finish at home. I find this is more practical because having just this and this sketchbook in my handbag is really no big deal. It's always in there. So whenever you have 10 minutes, well, you're able to draw something and take a photo, get back home and add color. Just like this, this is a museum also. So I draw on location, take photo and add the color at home. I love this page because it is all in the same style in the same time. I could have added something here. Clearly it's lacking something, but I like it. Ah, And this is uh, drawing people in real life. And I was watching people in front of me. And this guy, he woke up before I had time to draw the feet. So, I wrote it. <laughs> people, never finished that. And also, people. And a strange phrase that I heard that day. L'échec est un tremplin à la grandeur. Meaning, failing is a way to grow. Unless you have a better translation. An empty page. That's fine. And I don't paste stickers because it's not a fancy sketchbook. It's just my day-to-day -day sketchbook where I have all my drawing whenever I have five minutes. And you always get five minutes. So that was my A6 handbag sketchbook. 
a testament to the fact that you don't need a lot of supplies to create meaningful art. Just a pen, a bit of color, and you can make urban sketching everywhere. And if you like urban sketching, you can watch this other video that will maybe help you. See you soon!